journalists, like all of you, engage in the dogged pursuit of informing citizens and holding leaders accountable and making our government of the people possible. You engage in the dogged pursuit of informing citizens and holding leaders accountable and making our government of the people possible. And it's an enormous responsibility. And I really at home and abroad, journalists like all of you engage in the dogged pursuit of informing citizens and holding leaders accountable and making our government of the people possible. And it's an enormous responsibility. And I realize it's an enormous challenge at a time when the economics of the business sometimes incentivize speed over depth, and when controversy and conflict are what most immediately attract readers and viewers. The economics of the business sometimes incentivize speed over depth, and when controversy and conflict are what most immediately attract readers. The economics of the business sometimes incentivize speed over depth, and when controversy and conflict are what most immediately attract readers and viewers. Uh, the good news is there's so many of you that are pushing against those trends. And as a citizen of this great democracy, I am grateful for that. For this is also a time around the world when some of the fundamental ideals of liberal democracies are under attack and when notions of objectivity and of a free press and of facts and of evidence uh, are trying to be undermined or in some cases ignored entirely and of a free press and of facts and of evidence uh, are trying to be undermined or in some cases ignored entirely and of a free press and of facts and of evidence uh, are trying to be undermined attack and when notions of objectivity and of a free press and of facts and of evidence uh, are trying to be undermined or in some cases ignored entirely and in such a free press and of facts and of evidence uh, are trying to be undermined or in some cases ignored entirely and in such a climate uh, it's not enough just to give people a, a megaphone or in some cases ignored entirely and in such a climate uh, it's not enough just to give people a, a megaphone be undermined or in some cases ignored entirely and in such a climate uh, it's not enough just to give people a, a megaphone and that's why your power and your responsibility it's not enough just and giving me a mic and to counter ah. distortions and untruths is more important than ever taking a stand on behalf of what is true does not require you shedding your objectivity. Portions and untruths is more important than ever. Taking a stand on behalf of what is true does not require you shedding your objectivity. Portions and untruths is more important than ever. Taking a stand on behalf of what is true does not require you shedding your objectivity. Portions and untruths is more important than ever. Taking a stand on behalf of what is true does not require you shedding your objectivity. In fact, it is the essence of good journalism. It affirms the idea that the only way we can build consensus, the only way that we can move forward as a country, the only way we can help the world mend itself is by agreeing on a baseline of facts. The only way that we can move forward as a country, the only way we can help the world mend itself is by agreeing on a baseline of facts. The only way that we can move forward as a country, the only way we can help the world mend itself is by agreeing on a baseline of facts. The way that we can move forward as a country, the only way we can help the world mend itself is by agreeing on a baseline of facts when it comes to the challenges that confront us all. So this night is a testament to all of you who've devoted your lives to that idea, who push to shine a light on the truth every single day. 
So uh, is a testament to all of you who've devoted your lives to that idea, who push to shine a light on the truth every single day. So, so this night is a testament to all of you who've devoted your lives to that idea, who push to shine a light on the truth every single day. So I want to close my final White House Correspondents' Dinner by just saying thank you. Um, I'm very proud of what you've done. It has been an honor and a privilege to work side by side with you to strengthen our democracy. And with that, I just have two more words to say. Obama out. <laughs>